Hello everyone, my name is Squidhead Joe and this is Tonar's Oka 001 USB microphone. Now Tonar did send this microphone out for a review but they do not see the video before it's posted and any thoughts and opinions are of my own. With that being said, this review is for educational purposes so you as the consumer can make an educated choice if you do decide to purchase this microphone for yourself so you will know the pros and the cons of this microphone. While doing research for this microphone, I found another reviewer's video that said his microphone cost around $70. While looking on Amazon, the base price for this microphone is $101.99, but there is a lightning deal going on for $43.99. So if you are interested in purchasing this microphone, I would suggest waiting for one of these deals before you purchase a microphone at $101. With that being said, unboxing this microphone was actually fairly simple. Included in the box is a USB cable that actually can be used as a type C to type C USB cable, as well as a type A to type C USB connection as well. So depending on whatever ports you need on your computer, you can use the microphone's USB cable that's included in the box. Also included in the box is an adapter to be able to use this microphone attached to a mic boom arm. We'll get to why that's kind of a con later on in the con section. With that being said, the last item in the box is actually the microphone attached to its microphone stand um, already pre-assembled. Now first impressions taking the microphone out of the box is that the microphone itself is a little bit light. Um, but the actual stand itself has a little bit of sturdiness to it, so it would be kind of hard to knock it over. Um, you would definitely have to put a little bit of force more behind it. There's actually a uh, way to run the cable underneath the microphone stand and plug it into the bottom of the mic and let the cable run out the back. Uh, my personal opinion is that this cable is too short that comes with the microphone. I'm glad that it comes with an adapter so you can plug it into a USB type A port or you can use it the USB-C to USB-C. More often than not, especially if you're gonna take this thing off the stand and put it on a microphone boom arm, often than not, you're gonna need a longer USB cable. So just keep that in mind. Again, if you do plan on purchasing this, that you might want to invest into a longer cable. With that being said though, um, the overall build quality of the microphone feels sturdy. It feels good. I don't know if it's a $101 price uh, build quality, but it will get the job done. It doesn't feel cheap. None of the materials actually feel cheap. Other than this is something I noticed when I take the took the microphone out the, the box. This right here, which is a, a up and down or whatever to really adjust the volume or the gain of your microphone. It has a lot of wiggle room, it has a lot of play room. I will let you guys listen to it. And hopefully that came through the microphone uh, just fine. That's not me clicking the buttons. That's just me wiggling the actual uh, node. The bottom one has no play. Now, with that being said, I'm gonna move on to uh, the specifications of the microphone during the audio test. And then I will compare this microphone to the Fine Fine microphone and see uh, what I think would be the better choice if you're going to go with a USB microphone around the same price point. And I say around the same price point um, just because it seems to be around 70 to 40 something dollars or wherever regularly. I have not seen since they have contacted me, I've been watching the price listings. I have not seen it actually be at this original price of $101. It's always seems to kind of have a sale, um, but this one is the lowest that I've seen it at, at $43. So we'll see if it's worth the money. With that being said, here's the audio test. Um, I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna boost up the gain on the microphone to 72%. This is where it was when I plugged in the microphone to my PC and PC fan that's failing in my gaming PC. Um, and that's what that sound is. Uh, so that's kind of weird to me um, that at 72%, the gain is that high. And I think I understand why. It's actually a noise canceling button. Uh, in the front. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. It's supposed to remove background noise and stuff and we'll see how it goes. All right, as you can see, the microphone is still at 72%. I'm listening it back to uh, in my headphones and you can see right here on the, the display capture that it's highlighted and you can see that the actuations are my voice. So with that being said, the noise canceling sounds like it's cutting off when I start talking, 
and when I start in talking. And that's like kind of like a noise gate kind of thing to remove background noise. Um, it's too a little bit too aggressive. I would have liked uh, software to tweak this. Let's go ahead and do the background noise uh, removal off and see how it sounds with the fan on levels one, two, and three with me talking. All right, as you can see, this is 50% uh, gain on the Tonar microphone with the fan going on in the background on level one. Now, as you could probably hear, the fan has been moved on to level two. So this is what it sounds like. Um, as you can see the distance, it's almost to the wall. I uh, always have the fan going because I have two PCs. So I need, you know, cooled air. Sometimes I'll leave the door open and stuff like that to get the air circulating. If you're in this scenario, maybe you're looking for a microphone to block out the background noise and stuff like that, this might be uh, a candidate for you. But with that being said, let's go ahead and move the fan up to level three. All right, so again, this is 50%. The fan is on max. And um, now we're gonna go ahead and switch over to the noise cancellation button. Again, the microphone is set on 50%. So let's go ahead and see how it sounds once I click it over on fan level three. Okay, I am not lying to you. The noise cancellation button is turned on. That's when it's turned off. That's when it's turned on. So it sounds like to me that for whatever reason, it's supposed to be background noise removal. I'm gonna bump it up to 72%. All right. So it doesn't sound like it's picking up my PC with the bad fan. But you can also hear some wind still. This is more of a, like a noise gate. Um, or it's not background noise removal. Because it literally says, yeah, ambient noise is loud. Recommend to noise reduction. Yeah. So it's like a noise reduction. Fan three might be too powerful. For I, I don't know. You hear that, you kind of hear that mute and unmute kind of like wavy thing, like static or whatever cutting in and out. That's um, when you have a noise gate. About. We'll go in here, we'll use this plugin. This is the noise gate, okay? Now I'll go ahead and mute my microphone source and uh, in OBS but this is you know what I'm saying everything below this line does not get transmuted now or, or received to your ears um, but when you talk and it's blue wherever and it's going above everything that's above this line is actually being uh, transmitted to your uh, audience or even to yourself if you're listening to your microphone this when it's like cutting right here and going up and down. That means it's activating the microphone and not activating the microphone. Because you have to go over a certain DB of on your microphone uh, to activate the microphone so it knows that you're talking. Um, with this microphone, that's where you hear that static coming in and out. There's no way to adjust like this program or whatever. This is for my actual streaming microphone. And these are all the plugins, as you can see, that allow me to EQ the microphone, noise removal, and video broadcast noise removal. As you can see, like I have that kind of stuff um, for my stream so that when I talk and stuff like that, I have the fan going, you don't hear that. Now, I do wanna say that this is not me trying to bash the microphone. Um, I'm just trying to show you guys that if you are looking for a streaming microphone, this is probably not it. Let's leave it on and type and see what it sounds like. All right, so my keyboard is right behind my microphone. So this is what it would sound like if you're typing and I'm gonna turn it off. And this is what it sounds like, clicking and typing on the keyboard. Now, the keyboard I'm using does have cherry um, reds, so it's not too, too clicky. But yeah, this is what it sounds like.
All right, so here's the fine, fine A6T, about 50% gain on it and with the fan on level one. And here it is on with the fan on level two. As you can hear, the fan is probably picking up a little bit more uh, in the microphone itself since it's directly towards me. And here is the microphone with the fan blowing towards me on level three, the highest setting for this current fan. The fan off would just ambient noise in the room obviously i have two pcs as well with fans going and stuff but this is how it would sound like so here's the wave one microphone from elgato with the db set to 20 because it only goes up to 40 on this microphone and with no audio effects so you know that this is just raw audio this is how the microphone sounds straight out the gate um, and now this is what it sounds like with a level three fan in the background I would like to take this opportunity, to, even though you probably can't hear me with the fan on, that uh, I do stream over on Twitch. So if you're interested in that, there will be a link in the description. And if you're liking this video so far, give me a thumbs up or leave a comment down below what you think of these microphones. Let's go ahead right, and turn so this So I down. guess this is the point where I talk about the pros and the cons of this microphone. Um, I want to mention that this mute button at the top is really finicky as you can see and if i'm paying 101 dollars for this microphone base without it being on sales and stuff i would be highly disappointed in that um again i'm highly disappointed in the ambient um you know noise remover uh for your room and stuff like that again it works good for uh this fan down here that's not running correctly um i kind of wish this microphone especially for that price again would come with the microphone boom arm i hate to constantly uh compare it to the fine fine microphone that i recently reviewed but that one came with the microphone boom arm you don't want your microphone on your desk especially if you're going to be using this for you know a pc and stuff like that keyboard and mouse again you're asking somebody to pay that much for this microphone include a microphone boom arm uh, i want to talk about the shock mount it's way too close to uh, it's way too close and way too uh tight to the actual microphone itself where the microphone doesn't really have that much wiggle room it doesn't even really play around on the microphone at all this one is a movo microphone xlr it's a 99 dollars, and it's my stream microphone and as you can see it comes with a shock mount as well and you can see if i hold the shock mount and play around with the microphone it has way more wiggle room because it's suspended correctly with the bungee cords and it's actually in the middle and a shock mount goes around and then it has a cage that the microphone sits in and the bungees are attached to the cage and the surrounding frame that is a shock mount correctly done 43 dollars, like i mentioned before that i saw it on sale it's a good microphone it will get you by because overall i like the design of the microphone the way it looks and everything i just can't say that this microphone is for streamers this is for discord or chilling in uh in video games or something like that maybe for um some kids or something like that or maybe you don't want to pay anything expensive and maybe you did find this on sale for 43 dollars or sub 50 dollars or maybe sub 60 dollars so this is my stream microphone this is roughly what it sounds like but this is generally kind of the census of what my microphone sounds like when i stream and everything that's my overall thoughts if you are interested in this microphone there will be a link down in the description to their store page on amazon and the actual uh amazon page for this microphone hopefully you guys have a squid-tastic day let me know in the comments below what you think of this microphone overall i just kind of want to get the point across that this microphone is not for streaming it's mostly for gaming or discords and stuff push to talk that's where the use case scenario i would use this microphone um again hopefully you got that point and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care. Have a squid-tastic day. God bless you and yours. Deuces, everybody.